Howdy guys, this is Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and in this little set of videos, I'm going to show you how to draft another really basic uh, site topo. This is for a little residential parcel up in Fair Oaks uh, near Sacramento, and I've done a, a few of these videos before on another site. Uh, this one was over, I can't remember the name of the town, it was kind of over west of Davis in California. Uh, but I thought it wouldn't hurt to do another video. Um, AutoCAD is a is kind of a beast. It takes a while to learn it. So I thought if, if you go through that first set of videos on how to do a basic topo um, and, you, and you're still struggling a little bit that you could uh, watch this other set of videos kind of see how this process works with a different set of data. So I've got a brand new drawing open here in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2018. You can see I've got my tool space open over here on the left. And if you go into my layers, we'll, we'll, we're here on the home tab in the ribbon. I'm going to try and, <laughs> I'm gonna try and do, do a good job about explaining my clicks. So I've been, I use, been using AutoCAD for so long that sometimes I forget how fast I move. But So on the, on the home tab of the ribbon, we're going to click on this button, open the layer properties. You can see there's only two layers here, zero and points topo. And so I'm going to go ahead and make the points topo layer active or current. And uh, I'm going to click here. We're just going to give it a color. And this is the layer that we're going to import our points on that, that came out of our field survey that we're going to use to draw the topo. And depending on where you work, uh, your, your organization may actually layer your points. So different types of points will be on different layers. But... This is a fairly simple example, and I don't want to get too complicated. So we're going to just keep all of our points on one layer for now. So we want to make sure this layer is current. It is. We want that to be current when we import our points. So we're going to come down to the Points folder or uh, Points menu option. This is on the menu bar. And if you can't see your menu bar, you might have to drop this down right here and say, it'll say Show Menu Bar. So we'll go to Points, Import Export Points, and we'll click on the Import Points item. Then we're going to hit this plus here, and we're going to go navigate to our point file. Hopefully I can find. So I've got a point file here with the date of the survey. It's just a CSV file. We're going to hit open. And then we want to make sure that we choose the right uh, point file format. And in my company, we're using point northing easting elevation description. And you can kind of see the preview here. That looks all right. Uh, I'm going to uncheck this. I don't need to do an elevation adjustment. I don't need to add the points to a point group for now. Uh, so we'll just hit OK, and we should get all those points. Oh, OK, so we get an error message here. It didn't like one of the values. Uh, there must be an alphanumeric character in one of those point numbers so let's go see if we can figure that out this is what happens when you're doing real life doing, doing a video with real life data let's go see if we can figure out what that alphanumeric character was so we're just going to open the csv file i'll pull it over here to my other monitor so you can see it So usually when you get that error message, one of your point numbers has a letter in it. Yeah, I don't know why it's got this. This came out right here. We'll just delete that junk row and save it again. And then we'll import again. <coughs> Excuse me. So points, import, export, import points. Hit the plus, grab that file. Click the right format, hit OK. Now you shouldn't normally get this message that's saying we got some duplicate points in here. This is because I obviously didn't start with a clean enough drawing. So in this case, I'm just going to tell it to overwrite the duplicate points. Okay, if we zoom extents, which I do with a double click on the mouse wheel, you can also type in Z for zoom and E for extents. Okay, so now you can see all the points. So this is just a point object here. Okay, and those those little the diamond and the square that show up those are called grips that let you they let you move the point around and move the point label around. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just right click on this and go to the properties menu and I usually leave this up as I'm working. This is the properties dialog, and you can see it shows you some different information. So this is a 
Point number 10,021, it's a found monument. That's what that abbreviation means. It tells you what layer it's on. Uh, but what I want to do now is I want to turn on the, the point labels so I can see some information about these different points. So to do that, we're going to come over to the Prospector tab and drop down the point groups here. And point groups allow you to control, group your points and, and control the different display properties. So right now I just have uh, one point group. It's called All Points. It's a default point group that contains all the points in the drawing. And what I want to do is right-click on that and go to Properties. And you can see right here my point label style is set to None. That's why nothing, no, no labels are showing up. So we're just going to drop that down and choose Standard and hit Apply. And you can see now we're, we're getting some information on each one of those points. That's called a point label. Okay. And uh, you can see now you can use this square grip to drab, drag this label around if you want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower our, this is called the annotation scale here. And I'm going to lower this down. I'm going to make it 1 to 10. Those labels will get a little smaller so it'll be a little easier to see. And so AutoCAD Civil 3D has these dynamic labels that change size like that with your annotation scale. All right. Now, I have a, a map that shows you this area that we're working in. Uh, so we're working along Minnesota Avenue. It's this, it's this house right here. It's the one we're doing some work on. And we just tope it a little bit of the street frontage here. Uh, they're going to make the owner do some street side improvements, street frontage improvements, before he can get his building permit. So we're just doing the topo so he can get an estimate from the engineer for those improvements. So the very first thing we want to do is, uh, now that we got these points, is we want to start drawing our line work. That's usually what I do next. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer. Let me slow down. Go to the ribbon on the home tab. I'm going to open the layer properties. And I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call it lines, uh, edge of pavement. Okay, and we're going to give that a different kind of color. I'm going to go with that green for now. We'll make that the current layer. And then I want to draw uh, I want to draw a polyline along my edge of pavement. Now, the way I like to do my drawings is is I I do all my work in 3D first. So all of the the lines that we're going to draw are going to be what we call 3D polylines. That means they're actually going to use these elevations. They're not going to be flat at 00. zero. And then before we're done, we'll convert those to flat lines uh, that we can use to do just trimming and cleanup and hatching. Okay, but for now we're gonna we're gonna use uh, three three D polylines. And the reason we're doing that is we'll use those at some point to run a surface, and, and we'll do that in a in a separate video. So, okay, to do a three D polyline, I'm just gonna type in the command three D poly. Okay, and you you can see it tells you there at the cursor specify the start of the polyline, and so I'm gonna this is the first point I want to use now. Object snaps in AutoCAD are very important. They control where your where your cursor moves to and where you draw things from. And uh, the the object snap settings are right down here. So I'm actually going to come in here and turn on a new snap called Node. That'll snap to the point. You can see it's got a little check mark now when I click it. And now you can see when I get close here, it's it's got this Node snap. It's the little circle with an X. That means I'm going to be putting my polyline exactly on that point, which is what I want. And then you can see it has this rubber band line now, right? That's kind of showing me where I'm going to draw my line. And so what I want to do is I want to just come out, come along and connect these uh, edge of pavement points. And I can see that I actually have uh, the wrong layer. Um, <laughs> I have the wrong layer, but that's right. We'll fix that. So we're going to just come in and grab these uh, edge of pavements. Now, I just know from the way this is drawn that I want to come over here and connect to this Pavement at break line here. Pavement at break line. Then I want to come back over to the edge of pavement. Edge of pavement. This first line is usually the trickiest. Once you get that first line and that, that kind of orients you a little bit, this would be hard to do if I hadn't actually been out on the site, but I was on the site, so it's a little easier. Here's an edge of pavement, edge of pavement, and edge of pavement. Okay, so there's my first edge of pavement line now. Because I didn't have that on the right layer, we want to put it on the right layer. So we're going to grab it, grab that line just with the left click to select. And we're going to come over here to the properties dialog and we're going to drop down where it says layer. And we're just going to put it on lines edge of pavement. Okay, now we, we need to do the other side of the road. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run that command again, 3D poly. And 
actually, you know what? I'm going to escape out of here. So you can always hit the escape key to end a command in AutoCAD. And I'm going to come over here to uh, actually up here in my ribbon. I'm going to drop this down and grab this lines edge of pavement. That, that makes this the current layer now. Okay. So then we'll run our 3D polyline command again. And now you can see when I, whoop. You can hit the space bar again just to repeat a command. You can see now when I draw this line, it's going to be green because we got it on the right layer. That's what we wanted. So we're just going to go in and try and connect those edge of pavement shots again, making sure that we're using that node snap. That's that's important. Oh, let's see here. I may not have gotten an EP here. I might have missed an EP. Don't tell Steve, my boss, that I missed an EP right here, but I might have. Uh, let's see. EP... EP, 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 by the way, stands for edge of pavement, EP, 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 okay, so here's the paved road, you can see it's kind of a narrow road, now, I do have some more edge of pavement shots where I've got some driveways in, so we're going to go ahead and put those in uh, right now, so... We're going to run that same command again, 3D poly. We're going to stay on the edge of pavement layer. And uh, we'll just connect these dots here for the driveway aprons is what we call these. So you can kind of see the shape of the driveway here as it comes onto the road. And then we got the same thing here. Got another driveway apron. This one kind of comes up at an angle into the property that we're working on so okay so we got those two driveway aprons come in there and now if you get a point label here that you can't read it's not too hard you just pull that out pull that label out so we got a fence there and a fire hydrant and a water valve we'll come back and work with those later Okay, so I know I have some other edge of pavements over here. There's another little driveway apron that we want to work with. Okay, so we're going to connect these dots there for that part of the apron, and then we got some more over. We should have some more over here. Okay, so you can see I've got an edge of pavement over here. It doesn't look like I got very much of that um, apron. I just got a little piece of it. So we're just going to draw that in for now. We might have to fake some of this in. Fake it till you make it. Uh, so we may come back and fake in a little bit there. But I know I've got another. There's another driveway down here. Uh, let's see. Edge of pavement. Edge of pavement, driveway concrete, tow, fill, driveway concrete. Okay, so there's a driveway here. Looks like there's a little paved apron in front of a concrete driveway. So uh, we'll go ahead and run our 3D poly command. And we're going to connect these dots. Like that. So this is the paved apron and this is the concrete driveway. And uh, you'll see when we get to the 2D part, we'll, we'll, stub, in some, uh, we'll stub in some lines there. For that driveway so we can kind of see that and we'll probably fake in a little bit right here too that surveyor could have done a little better job on this topo all right so we got our driveway aprons in now i'm going to go ahead and put in i know i got one fence over here on this side looks like i've got another ep here i'm not going to worry about that though it's getting a little far from our site so this e means end so i know the fence starts there but before we draw it, we need a new layer. So we're going to come in here, and we'll say lines fence. And we're going to give this a different color. We'll go with uh, red. And we'll say 3D. Um, actually, you know what? This isn't going to be a 3D poly because I know I shot this fence reflectorless with the reflectorless EDM. So the, those, uh, those elevations aren't on the ground. They're at the top of the fence. So we don't want to use that in our surface. So we can just draw a regular polyline. So instead of saying 3D poly, we just say PL for polyline. 
and you can see I got the wrong layer so we'll have to fix that but we can just come in here and I know this fence comes down here like this okay and then we've got the fence over here and then I know it kind of comes down like this so we'll just fake that in for now since it's 2d we'll left click to select those and we'll put them on the right layer the fence layer okay now it's a little weird but we actually draw we do draw a break line for the center of the road because that's usually a little higher it's like the crown so let's go into our layer dialog we'll make a new layer we'll call it lines uh, road center line and we'll make it uh, yellow um, and we're actually uh, we'll give this a well, no, we won't we won't do a line type yet so make it yellow we'll make it current okay and then we'll run that 3d polyline command again and we're gonna whoop, hit escape there because I messed up hit spacebar to repeat the command click these center line nodes so this is just the center line of the road it's the middle of the road that's the highest point so water is gonna fly uh, flow off to either side Okay, and I'm going to stop it there. Okay, so now we've got the center of our road. All right, so let's see. I want to do a couple more lines with you guys. Um, I, the lines are almost done. Now I'm going to make this a little smaller because it's getting hard to see here, but there's a toe, what we call a toe of a slope that runs along here. You can see this toe right here. So there's a toe of a slope and a top of a slope that we want to add. So we'll say lines, toe of slope. And we'll do, uh, we'll make that uh, cyan for now. And we'll do one more. We'll call line, oop, hit the wrong button there. Sorry, this button here to make a new layer. We'll say lines top of slope. And we want a different color for that. We'll go magenta. And we may change, end up changing these colors a little bit when we go to plot, which is fine. Okay, so we're going to run that 3D polyline command again. And we want to, don't let me forget I missed an EP here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start connecting this toe. So the toe of the slope runs parallel to the road. A couple of trees there. We're not going to worry about the trees yet. We're just grabbing these toes. Should have one more. I thought I had one more toe in there. I guess I don't. I think this toe kind of tapers into this edge of pavement. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to snap it to there for now. We'll have to see how that looks in our surface. Okay, then we're going to drop our layer down to the top of slope. And we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so I should have a top here. Then there's an angle point. That's what AP is. Angle point in the top of the slope, and then I know it comes down and, and uh, connects into that EP. So this is kind of a top of a dirt area here that, where they can park. All right, now you guys notice I missed an EP here, didn't I? So let me show you how to fix that. We're going to select this polyline because I missed the point. And uh, if you hover over this little square here, you'll get this option to add a vertex. So we're going to do that, and we're just going to pull it down to our EP, make sure that snap is on. So that's what it should have looked like there. I missed that point. All right, kind of an ugly road, isn't it? All right. Okay, so I think that's all the line work. We might have some building lines to do. I can't remember how many building corners we shot. There's a corner of a garage. Yeah, building corner garage building corner garage so we do have a building we did get a couple sides of the garage it looks like that's a top of a wall 
I might not have got the other side of the garage. So I'm, I'm just going to leave that for now. I'm not going to draw that yet. We may not want to draw that. There's another little retaining wall right here, but I don't know if we got enough shots on that either. So I'm going to leave that for now. We just got some ground shots. So I think we're, we're close to being done with the 3D line work uh, for this topo. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and uh, zoom extents with a double click on the mouse wheel there and hit the save button. Um, now what I want to go in and do next is um, we're going to go ahead and flatten this line work. We're going to make a copy of this drawing. We're going to flatten our line work so we can do some trimming and stubbing and some faking. Fake it till you make it. Um, and then we're going to add some symbols for like the water valve and the high fire hydrant. I'll show you guys how to insert blocks and do that. There's a manhole. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll get that cleaned up. And um, that's kind of going to be the 2D drawing. And then we'll go back into this, this drawing. We'll go back in where we have these 3D polylines and we'll, uh, we'll create a surface so we can get some contours. So I'll show you guys how to do all that. Okay. So I appreciate you watching. That's about double the length of the normal video, but... We've got the bare bones of a of an ugly topo here, at least, to start, and so uh, we'll work we'll work with that in the next couple of videos.